Typically in action figure animation, you would want to use something like this to hold your figures up so they don't keep falling while you're filming. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but the stands typically used to display the figures don't usually do well when moving them around a lot for stop motion. The stand that came with my Sentinel Miles Morales recently broke. Honestly, it was one of my best stands and that made me want to go get something specifically made to move. So I went to Amazon, bought this six pack soldering helping hand kit for about $20, but let me explain why. So in the box that comes in, the important stuff for this video that you get is the metal base, six clips, and six poseable arms. But the problem with this product for the figures is that, well, it's not made for figures. High chance that the clips they come with would damage the figures after multiple uses. But that is why I'm making this video to show you guys some methods to make them figure safe for animating. I know that there are stop motion rig products out there, but honestly, I feel like they're pretty pricey for a single one. When there's alternatives like this that can get you six for 20 to $30, there's also some soldering kits out there that already have dull edges but since not all kits come like that i'll show you guys ways to guarantee that safety there will be two methods i show you one is for people who have had broken stands like me and the other is for those who have helping hands and nothing but the helping hands time stamps in the description like I said, this method is for people who have many broken stands in the past and can't use them anymore. For this solution, we'll put those leftover clips to use. It's pretty simple. You can literally just have the clips from the figure stands and have them be held by the clips on the soldering kit. Now, the way you can secure these is entirely up to you. You can either just let it be held without anything so you can swap them in between each clip depending on what you need, or you can even glue or tape them to secure them in place to guarantee that the stand will be durable enough for the figure's weight. Now, if you do decide to just let the clip hold it, just make sure that you're being safe with it as it could let go at any given time, especially with a figure on it. Just kind of trust your judgment on that depending on what you need in the animation. But just remember that the point of this method is to have something specifically made to hold figures and combine it with something that can move a lot for your animation. Okay, so if you haven't had any display stands before and don't want to buy some just to combine it with another product, here's what you can do. You can honestly just make sure that the soldering kit you're purchasing comes with the dull edges already to prevent any future damage. Another quick method to solve this problem is that you can put tape around the teeth of the clips to dull them out yourself without having to sand them down. I just feel like that would break over time, so just use that with caution. And like I just mentioned, you can sand them down yourself. That would be another option, but that's just something I'm not choosing to do. So yeah, just a couple of ideas for people out there who want or feel the need Need for more tools to make their animations better and not spend a whole lot of money by the way shout out to unraveled pictures tm for bringing up the soldering idea in his own video i just wanted to expand on the possibilities to make the product better for figures so with that like comment and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next video